There's big controversy today surrounding the Are You a Bigger Loser Than Marco contest. Earlier today, the Are You a Bigger Loser Than Marco commissioner, Kathy Nuremberg, held a press conference to talk about the contest results. Thank you. After 12 weeks of an incredible competition, we were prepared to crown Marco as the biggest loser we know. However, we recently received an anonymous tip calling into question some of the methods Marco used to remain competitive. We now believe that the so-called cleanse tablets he's been using are actually a form of concentrated x lax mixed with some questionable Chinese herbs and therefore considered a performance enhancing substance. Marco has been removed from the competition pending further investigation. But that's not the whole story. This is what happened just a few hours ago outside the youth specialties offices. Marco has no statement to make at this time. He'll not be holding any press conferences. You're just going to have to come back later. There he is! Marco! 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 Oh my gosh, we just got word that Youth Specialties is going to announce the winners of the contest. We'll take you there live. I have an official statement from our offices. Due to the substance controversy, we have officially disqualified Marco from his own competition and have decided to award a grand prize to the top person in each category. In the men's category, the winner and biggest loser is Jason Batalden. On the women's side, the winner and biggest loser is Maggie Gowden. Congratulations to you both. In addition, we've decided that Marco needs to pay a penalty, and he will therefore be providing free youth ministry resources to every single person who has completed the competition. Congratulations to all our losers, and thanks to everyone for being a part of Are You a Bigger Loser Than Marco? I am the quintessential loser, the pinnacle of loserosity.